Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. There's a gentleman there with an electric knife flaying his fish. And in the water is a pelican. And I have not seen too many pelicans lately. And where there's free food, there's Eugene. <laughs> it's been a good morning so far. Went on a little ride with my friend Greg. We got a taco. It is Taco Tuesday. Went to Jalisco's. Nothing excited, but it was good. I got the uh, bacon, egg, and cheese, and they didn't give me cheese. And Greg got a egg, bean, and potato. And we also got some Mexican Cokes. Am I allowed to say Mexican Coke? Because that's what everyone here calls them. <laughs> Mexican Cokes come directly from Mexico. They even have the little import sticker on them. And they're in the old classic Coke bottles. And they are made with actual cane sugar. Not corn syrup like we now use here in the States. Someone mentioned they had never seen the process of getting a boat in and out of the water. And I got to remember that a lot of people probably haven't. So uh, something I see 10, 15 times a day, I got to try to remember that might be something unique for you guys. We filmed that boat in the water before. Boats on the trailer, you back up. This guy did it perfectly. His wheels are just touching the water at the back, if that. There's a strap on there with a hook on the boat. You unhook that and hopefully the boat slides off right into the water. And they're gonna play with it to get it perfect. And it, it's gotta be tougher with uh, a bigger boat like that. You need to get the boat deep enough. And if you give it a little jerk at the end, yes, sir. like I think they're trying to do, it'll slide off. But this one's not sliding today. That's about as big of a boat as I've seen using this boat ramp. They're usually smaller. You guys know what a boat's favorite dessert is? That's an easy one. A float. A float. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it's almost there. You don't want to back up too far, buddy. That's about as far as they could go. They might need to come back at high tide. I like how this one guy's saying yes sir and no sir every time. They're not getting a, there's not enough water to do this safely without getting your truck in the drink. So let's move on, leave them alone and let them figure it out. I think they need to come back at a higher tide. Of course, I don't own a boat. That's just my professional non-opinion. And thank them for letting us film it without being offended. It's nice, guys. I, I know the last two videos I posted, it was raining. But once that rain stopped uh, yesterday, it became absolutely gorgeous. There's a good breeze going. It was uh, very comfortable sleeping weather last night. And I think we're going to hit some wind as... What is that noise?
Where'd that noise come from? Did you guys hear like a phone ring? It rang once and it wasn't my phone. <laughs> I was just looking around to see if Greg left his uh, phone in my truck, but he didn't. I'm going to reposition my hand here and try to block the wind with my hand. So I do apologize if that's not effective. There's some people out going kayaking, getting their kayaks all set. There goes Wayne walking, Wayne L. White, author of the book Cold. I swear I don't stalk Wayne guys, he just happens to be out walking a lot and I happen to see him a lot. <laughs> I think it's going to be a busy day at the beach, even though it's a weekday. It's just uh, too nice a weather. There's Wayne right there. Let's say hi to Wayne. Hey, Wayne. Hi, Dennis. I'm filming. Hi, Dennis. Hi, Boone talking with Dennis. Have you read any good books lately? Cold, three winters at the South Pole. Highly recommended. <laughs> Thanks, Wayne. It's good to see you, man. Good to see you. There you go. <laughs> Free plug for everybody. I've read that book twice, and I really enjoyed it. He's a good guy. He walks a ridiculous amount of miles. That book's on Amazon, guys. Cold. And uh, we had a contest here last year and gave away an autographed copy. And my friend Anita won at Flower Folk Farm. And she is a doll. Here's the real reason I came back to the beach right now. Porta potties. Porta potties and beautiful views. Wayne and I, uh, not Wayne and I, Greg and I spotted some uh, dolphins this morning while we were, it was a good day guys. We ate tacos and watched dolphins. And it doesn't get much better than that. Spotted nacho and burrito, but I did not see Frito. Frito's at that age where he might be off by himself cruising around. Frito is Nacho's baby from last spring. Let me zoom, give you a little zoomy zoom on the flower situation here. They let this grow every spring so the um, birds have a little shelter to lay their eggs. And they're quiet right now. It is so quiet now compared to mating season where it was just insanely loud and there's some trash right on the edge but it's really not safe for uh, any of the people that work here to go near that nesting area at any point because you don't want to disturb them and you don't want to get dive bombed and get injured or even have the birds abandon the nest, you know. Got a little line up here. Good morning. How's your day going, gorgeous? You look good today. We got skies. Just gonna go back and get in line. Must be a weekday because I don't hear any music blasting. So what did we learn from this video, guys? One, tacos are good. Two, dolphins are awesome. And three, you should go buy a copy 
of Cold by Wayne L. Wright. <laughs> Wayne L. White on Amazon. They're, they're a little more vocal down here, aren't they? I see Skeeters, guys. That's the price we're paying for that uh, rain yesterday. We're getting Skeeter visitations. I can see some seagulls right down in here hiding. Thanks for riding along today, guys. Thanks for watching.